I think that's really interesting because, yeah, you have in this movie, we we design these movies, and at the end of the movies, it's always humans who rule. Mm-hmm. I, like, I can't think of any of them where the aliens or whatever. No, of over course not. And, and they rule, <laughs> you know? right. That's true. So, Even in all the Star Treks, like the the yeah. head person, right? Is I could be wrong. Someone might be yelling at me, but <laughs> watching this later on. But I'm pretty sure every single captain is a human. Even if some of the other for officers or whatever are um, are aliens. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So there's an aspect where like, yeah, we have this in us where we feel this utter responsibility for the world. And that we are to end up ruling no matter what. And some and the struggle is like someone's ruling for some bad motive. Right. You know? That's true. And that's that's the picture of the Tower of Babel. Yes. I was so I was thinking about that um yesterday because I was thinking about how uh, the history of design, um, kind of in preparation for that. And I was thinking about how other than you know, living quarters or maybe like some kind of palace or something. Um, the earliest structures that that were separate from from like survival were religious. And that includes the Tower of Babel in a certain way because they were trying to attain God's power. So it was still about it was still in relation to God. Like it has always been some kind of spiritual um relevance to to the earliest structures that weren't just like a house or a tent um it's kind of fascinating yeah yeah i mean yeah in in the tower of babel you almost have this aspect where they're trying to get rid of god but it's religious because it's it's in battle with him in a way to become the god of god right exactly (laughs) but yeah, we were, I mean, so to go back a little bit with what you were saying, um, we have that in us to want to subdue. Um, it's not just arrogance. I mean, it eventually it all, all often comes out as arrogance, but you're right. It's it's because of the Lord originally giving us this, um, this kind of commandment to subdue the earth. Um, for anyone who's not a Christian watching this in the creation story, when God creates humans, um, he, the original um, kind of uh, commandment was to take care of the earth, basically, to, to take care of all of the animals and the, um, and the plants and, and, and to, uh, to subdue it was, I think, the word. Um, but that's, that, that's why that instinct is in us to kind of to rule over the earth. That's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with the but then with the Tower of Babel thing and the the history of design, um, I thought it was interesting that with both architectural design and landscape architectural design, there you see this history of faith and design. Uh, or some kind of religion and design, you know, whether it's uh, the pyramids, um, going back to that with architecture, um, or the tabernacle, obviously, in the Bible, or the temple, um, or the altars um, that everyone had. Um, then with landscape architecture, in in the history class that you'll take, some of the earliest examples, um, even though it wasn't called this at the time, were uh, gardens like prayer Mm -hmm. gardens and um like meditation gardens for monks um those are some of the earliest examples of landscape architecture um when you take one of those classes so it's kind of fascinating how you know faith has always been connected with with design and with nature yeah yeah i think that command to like rule and reign as kings and queens um, I think there's the aspect where when you design and you make things and create this environment, you you do rule it by doing that. You do subdue it and bring people into a peaceful place. Right. Where it's like, that's what rule, good rule brings. That's what right. good design brings is like, 
a peace and joy and love. Whereas, you know, I think, I mean, maybe you can think of the movies of, of villains, like wherever their place is, it's a place of like chaos and, and whatever. And it's this different type of rule. Right. Um, and you can see it in the architecture. Right. You know? um, and it's meant to instill this terror type of rule. But I just think it's interesting how there can be this peaceful design and architecture that that is ruling yet still peaceful and friendly and and loving. Yeah, and that's that is the that is who God is, right? That's reflective mm. of who God is, is that he has all of this power and he has all of this control and this ability and um and, and wrath for evil, but he is able to to design something and bring together all of all of these different elements um, in incredibly complex ways with a very peaceful result. You know, right? Like people always, when they're stressed or not, not everyone is like this, but a lot of people when they're stressed or something like that, they they are refreshed by going into nature, right? By mm -hmm. spending some time in the forest. Maybe it's just a hike. Maybe it's just a walk or something. You know, some people don't like camping, but, um, or it's to the beach, you know, or going swimming in the ocean. It's, there's something calming, naturally calming about nature. Um, mm -hmm. And that is from the Lord. 